All right, welcome back to Beer Bacon Brothers. As always, I'm Adam. This is Keith. That's Chris down there. Um, I'm just, no. I always say that. Chris, that's Keith. Um, once again, I'm Alex. That's Chris. Chris. That's Keith. Keith. <laughs> um, we are going to do on this this little segment here for you and um, a beer from Barrier Brewing Company. I'm not too excited about it. Um, I was about to say, you don't fucked yourself up, haven't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just messing with y'all. This is Kicking Knowledge from Barrier Brewing Company. Um, it's labeled 005. Are we doing significance of that? Is this just their fifth beer they've made? Uh, I think it would Pretty cool be. can design of a guy all around a chalkboard, a bunch of random stuff. There's some coconut split open, some burgers and milkshakes and stuff. Because um, this is an India Pale Ale brewed with vanilla, coconut, lactose, and dry hopped Motuka, Mosaic, and Citra. Double coconut and vanilla is the the main tag down here at the bottom. It says keep cold and drink fresh. Shouldn't do it any other way. It's also got burgerology. So I wonder if they did these to like pair with burgers. Probably. Oh, I would that would so. be sweet. Oh no! It says originally brewed for our friends at Burgerology. So yes, they did obviously. I guess do this to pair with Make their menu. The beer, yeah. yeah. Burgers. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Illustrated by Daniel F. Birch. Shout out to Daniel F. Birch. Yeah, there's a bunch of different flavors. So uh, we've done one of these on the show before. It was the strawberry. It was the strawberry. It was beer 87. This is about to be beer 246. So it's been quite a while since we did that. Seven percent alcohol by this bad boy. Actually, you weren't even on the show yet when we did the mm-hmm. strawberry milkshake. I didn't come into the hundreds. So um, yeah, let that baby uh, invert. Okay. It was canned last year. So so much for so much for drinking fresh. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, sorry guys. It's not your fault. I'm not even your fridge for you. No. So it looks like Kick of Knowledge made a bunch of different flavors. So we got the double we got the toasted coconut, the double coconut, which is what we have, right? Double coconut and vanilla. There's yeah. a key line. There's a key line. We've done the strawberry milkshake. There's a new So I wonder if this is number five of the kicking. Well knowledge. actually the, that's um, what I think. Yeah. Wasn't the strawberry milkshake, wasn't that an IPA? Yeah. Or was that one of these? Is that that's an IPA? That's a stout, isn't it? No, this is an IPA. Yeah, it's an IPA. Oh, I thought it was a stout. Yeah. No. Someone did say stout though when we were getting this out of the fridge. That was probably. I me. think Chris said stout. That was probably me. So that was my dumbass. I'm not a coconut guy. Um, I try to avoid it honestly. Um, and then lactose and beer always just gives me a weird like aftertaste. Like this, this one of those things like aspartame. Aspartame. You can taste it for certain people. Like you can just taste that bitterness, artificial sweetener. Like I can taste that stuff anywhere. You can't hide it from me. Um, so the lactose and beer usually gives me the same kind of reaction. Which I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised that they threw a lactose in an IPA. You usually don't see lactose in IPAs. You usually see lactose more in uh, like stouts and porters and stuff. Yeah, yeah. This is I mean, this is their thing with the Kickin' series, right? It's IPAs with unique uh, flavors. You know, something really sweet. So that's kind of exciting about it for me uh, as somebody that's not a huge IPA fan. So. Uh, where, you know, Alex is a, a huge IPA fan. Oh, I guess I should. Just a huge? Yeah, I'm a big I mean, IPA guy. He's a big IPA guy. Big he's, IPA guy. He's, right not like, he's not like the, the Portland like IPA guy with the man bun and the beanie and stuff, though. He's he's just an IPA guy. Finish that off. Sure. Listen, not everyone got some bubbles. I don't know why. It was very bubbly. Why I, I, I tried, be inverting and, it. And I tried to uh, pour that as best as I could. Keats is a little bit cloudier than ours down here. Yeah. Just a little bit, though. Yeah. I'm not really getting a coconut smell. I'm getting more of the, the citrus hops. So they made a mango yeah. one. They made... It does say double coconut, though. All right, go ahead. Well, I hope this thing has coconut. Oh, okay. Okay. So don't get, I didn't get any coconut. It kind of has. I didn't either. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get much coconut either, but I kind of get that like suntanny aftertaste. It's not like it's not heavy. It's not like off-putting, but I kind of get that. Or maybe it's just the the citrus, but I mean, it's definitely more citrus than anything. I can get the. I can pick up on the lactose the way it, it's got that. It's, just kind of like that milky, that creaminess, creaminess to it. Um, it's not bad. The vanilla is definitely there. I feel like um, it definitely the hops are there right at the very beginning. Yeah, the hops are straightforward. Um, then it goes into the citrus, which I didn't really 
understand where that's coming from. I guess I think it's the hops. The different, the, the three hops they chose have that citrus flavor. Um, I don't get any coconut. Though. Not getting a double coconut. I'm not getting any coconut, like at all. Period. Zero. Like, how can you call this double coconut vanilla? Granted, I, you know, I'll say this. Where's Barrier from? They're somewhere in New York, right? Back yeah, there. Oceanside, New York. Yeah. Um, you know, we do that, like a hell, devil's foot or whatever. <laughs> Satan's toe. No, this is a different one. Because we did, we did a barrier, actually, last episode. We did their crowning achievement, Maple Stout, which everybody kind of gave in the very low sevens. I think Adam actually gave a 6-2, to be technical. So, and then even when we did the first kick in knowledge back in the day, we did he did... 7-3 uh, for you, 7-2 for Adam, 7-5 for me. Not very high scores on on those as well. And, I mean, I don't know if this one's even going to make it to that for me. Um, I was thinking 7 flat just because it is a good-tasting beer. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's official yet. Um, okay. I, definitely, I think I'm going to go 6-9 with it just because as, even as much as I don't like coconut, if I was a coconut person and saw you had it labeled as double coconut – I'd be really disappointed. See, I'm a, I'm a coconut person. Yeah. And there is no coconut in this whatsoever. I like the little clinky. That was, yeah, that was but, sexy. But um, I will say, for this being an IPA, this is a very easy to drink IPA. I think it's the lack for, for it to be a double if IPA. If they just like removed is, coconut from everything on this can, it'd be an eight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be in the eights. Yeah. Yeah. You, I mean, you, you just said it was a... <laughs> if you just said it was a... India Pale Ale brewed with vanilla, lactose, and dry hop with Matuka, Mosaic, and Citra. I'd be like, hell yeah, eight one. But the coconut, man. I mean, we're you know religiously I mean, docking to yeah, the points. We're not not giving us the flavor you said. We're to. we're sticklers for this, and if you're watching the show and you go, well, that's kind of crazy. Watch the rest of our that's, that's, reviews. It's what we've been every doing. Single I mean, we for do. three years now. If you bought a car and somebody told you it was a V8 and you got home and it was like a in line four. four yeah. You'd be like, hey, motherfucker. Yeah. You know, where, yeah. where's my extra cylinders? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be blue, and you show up, and it's in purple. Yeah. Like, like, okay. White. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, same thing with beer. Don't, don't, if don't you're gonna say it's there, there, put it there. So, yeah. I'm, and we know coconut's a very easily easily added flavor to beer because we've had so many other beers with just coconut that, that's done well, done badly. Like, you can do it. So I don't know how they missed the mark with the double coconut. Yeah, I mean that's that's even the worst part of this. Is it says double? It says double coconut on the can. Double coconut. Yeah. Double in case you missed that. I mean, I guess if you double zero, it's still zero. It's still zero. Yeah. Fuck. Like, <laughs> so you double one, it's just two. I mean, that they may have put one flake of coconut and then put another. <laughs> Damn, dude. I mean, you know, for somebody that likes an uh, IPA, this is probably great. Like, it, it probably is, like, just a casual IPA. Got some lactose in it to make it smoother, creamier. Um, you know, the yeah, hops the, are definitely The lactose there. definitely, the lactose and the vanilla definitely cut through the bitterness that an IPA usually gives you. Yeah. So, like, if you just renamed this as an IPA milkshake. A milkshake IPA. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that, this would, like, like you said, it would probably deserve to be in the air. Or put yeah. coconut in it. Or just, or just put coconut in it. It's simpler, <laughs> simpler just put thing coconut to do. It. Yeah. Whether I, it's I don't, I don't, I don't like to be disrespectful to people and not drink the beers. But I mean, damn, this is not that great, honestly. Like this is, this is just so disappointing. So and there's no way I can. I love coconut. There's I'm no sorry. way I can think that if the can date is accurate, because the sticker receive date is wildly different. So maybe, so it, like, maybe it. It's, the coconut just disappeared. I mean, like, it, is that a thing? Does coconut taste just go away? It could be one of those. Well, it's, it's just like those cold snaps. Or like did the hops really kind of keep fermenting in it, and maybe overtook the coconut or something. I mean, it, it could be one of those potentials. Like if that was can, if that really was canned last year, and that beer is really a year old, I would imagine at some point some of the flavor is going to dissipate, and you're not going to have as strong a flavor as you would in some other like, beers. The, the sticker here from the, the actual establishment we bought this beer from says they received it in January of this year. Which, I, in craft beer wise, that's not that long ago. No. Because I, I probably bought, bought this pack in July. Yeah, it was just two months. Or early August. Hell, not even, yeah, not even two probably months. Probably early August. August. So, probably like six weeks. Yeah. So it's not that bad. So, I mean, 
Maybe the can date is wrong down here, but I don't know. Coconut's just nowhere to be found. Well, yeah. that that or it got it was like it was canned cold, shipped cold, then stored hot, then re re cold, you know, re, yeah, redone. But no, six four. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the band. I'm gonna off. go six six eight. Oh man, I mean I. I mean, I rather. I mean, I personally enjoyed it, not because I'm not an IPA guy. So having having it not kick like an IPA, but then not. But tell me that it's coconut and then double coconut, and yeah. you're not, and then you don't come in on the coconut at all. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be at a six nine on that. Okay. Yeah, I just I had to go ahead and rip the mandate off for me because that's a. That's a disappointment in my opinion. So six four, six nine. It's a six, really eight. good tasting beer. No, it's yeah, a, yeah. It's just the fact that there's absolutely zero coconut in a double coconut IPA. Yeah, don't tell me it's coconut and then don't deliver. No, okay. don't don't say it's double. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. So that was the Barrier Brewing Kicking Knowledge Milkshake IPA, the double coconut, aka zero coconut and vanilla, and that's a review.